In this lesson, we will identify notes on the fretboard with the Nandy method using the circle of fifths. A perfect fifth is an interval of seven half steps. For example, to arrive at a perfect fifth from C, which is G, we must count seven chromatic intervals after C, namely C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, and G. The circle of fifths illustration, like the one you see below, is commonly used to figure out sharps and flats in a key. Since fourths and fifths are inversions of each other, we will find that notes going clockwise around the circle are a fifth apart, while notes going counterclockwise are a fourth apart. Following the same concept but using the chart of fourths instead, we will attempt to identify notes on the fretboard as naturals, sharps, and flats in the order of fifths. Take a look at our chart below. Notes left to right are in order of fourths, while notes right to left are in order of fifths. When we reverse the order of natural fourths B, E, A, D, G, C, F, we derive fifths F, C, G, D, A, E, B. Observe that these are also the notes of the C major scale, but in the order of fifths. In the illustration below, we find that the open notes G to D, D to A, A to E, E to B, and the notes F to C on the first fret are adjacent fifths. On the other hand, the fifth from C, which is G, is located a half step or one fret below on the open G string. Note that the B string is tuned to a major third instead of a fourth on a standard guitar. To compensate for this half step difference, we must remember to move down a fret to locate a fifth from the B to the G string. In the illustration below, can you identify the pattern of natural fifths? Can you also name the string and the fret on which the pattern begins? If you said that the natural fifths begin with the F note on the third fret of the D string, you are correct. Using the same letter pattern, we can now identify sharp fifths as F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp, and B sharp. Take note that the C sharp major scale contains seven sharp notes. Take a close look at the notes in the bottom row of the chart. These notes that have the same pitch as the notes directly above them but are spelled differently are referred to as enharmonic equivalents. For example, B sharp has the same pitch as C located directly above it. E sharp is the same as F, and so on. B sharp and E sharp are the notes from the seven scale degrees in C sharp major and F sharp major, respectively, even though they do not have physical locations on the fretboard. Take a look at the F sharp note located on the A string in the illustration below. Can you recite the order of strings we must follow to locate the remaining fifths? If you said the order is E, B, G, and D strings, you are correct. In the diagram below, notice that the only fifths separated by a fret are notes G sharp and D sharp. Let's move on and talk about identifying flat fifths on the fretboard. Reading the highlighted notes in the chart below from right to left, we can identify the notes F flat, C flat, G flat, D flat, A flat, E flat, and B flat as flat fifths. Remember that F flat and E and C flat and B are enharmonic equivalents. As mentioned before, uncommon notes such as F flat and C flat only appear in advanced scales with many flats such as the G flat major and C flat major scales. As we conclude this lesson, you should have a pretty good idea of visualizing notes in fifths. When we know that natural fifths are followed by sharp fifths, or their enharmonic equivalent flats as seen below, we can easily connect natural sharp and flat fifths in a chain of continuous fifths. Our reusable dry erase Nandy Quarter is the perfect tool if you wish to practice note identification without picking up your guitar or wasting paper. There you have it, decoding notes on the fretboard using the pattern of fifths with the Nandy method. Listed below are our mobile apps that are based on note recognition for the fretboard.
If this lesson helped you better understand how notes are arranged on the fretboard, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. We will also provide links to related content in the description below.